In this video we will show you how to manage project clipping box and adjust point cloud density. Here we have very basic building 3D model that we will use for demonstration purpose. Let's go ahead and load our undet project. Also we will use X-ray style, which will help us to better understand clipping box boundaries. At this point we see point cloud as it is loaded, we do not see all points. If project is not big, these points might be enough, but if we want to see more points and inspect point cloud data more careful we will have to create clipping box. First of all we recommend to change camera from perspective to parallel projection, because in perspective view some clipping options are not available, for example clip by line function. To start, we will create clipping box defined by rectangle. To make sure that our rectangle will be drawn on the same plane we will go to top view and align axes. Now we will select clip by rectangle option and define our area of interest. Our clipping box may be adjusted at any time using resize function from undet clipping box tab. Every time you adjust clipping box size undet makes calculations and loads most points for optimal performance. Taking that into consideration we can say that having smaller view section will result in seeing more points. As you can see in our case, every time we make our clipping box smaller, we can see that our point cloud density increases. If you changed your clipping box and it is not relevant anymore, you can always go back to original point cloud by using reset function from undet clipping box tab. Another way to adjust visible points is to use functions from undet density tab. Using these options, you will be able to change density settings without changing clipping box size. One of the options is density settings. With this option you will be able to manually change density and point cloud points count by adjusting values of those parameters. Every time you change those parameters, undet will recalculate and reload visible points. But Undead also implied two automatic options to adjust density. First is high performance, which will decrease maximum points count and density until the point where your computer performance will remain smooth and undisturbed. Second is high visibility, which will increase maximum point count and density until the point where you will see all visible points in your current clipping box. Now we will create another clipping box, this time, it will be defined by line. This time our created clipping box is relatively small, so we have maximum density regardless if we select high performance or high visibility option. Only option that we can change now is points count. And as you can see if we will change clipping box size and make it bigger, density option will become active again. So to conclude it is safe to say, that if you want to see better point cloud view try to change your clipping box size and make it smaller. When density bar is inactive then adjusting full points bar does not make any difference. We recommend to create clipping box with size just enough to cover your current area of interest and after you finish modeling that element move or create new clipping box. Another way is to manually change density values or use undet fast performance or high visibility options. If you have any questions about density and clipping box management or any other undet for SketchUp functionality send us email to info at undet.com. Thank you for watching and see you in our next videos. For more info subscribe our channel or visit our website at www.undet.com.